I didn't want people to know who I was and associate myself with being the girl who was raped by the singer of Headley. She imagined a romantic tryst with a rock star. Instead, the 24-year-old Ottawa woman claims she was raped and degraded by the lead singer of Headley, Jacob Hogard. Their brief relationship began during We Day events. In between taking questions from fans and singing on stage, Hogard was flirting over text with the Algonquin college student whose photo he swiped on Tinder. Flattered by his attention, over the next two weeks, they made plans to meet in person in Toronto on November 22, 2016. She says Hogard bought her a train ticket. I thought it would be a, like a cool opportunity to meet someone that I thought was was like semi-famous or someone who my friends have always really liked and I thought like I felt like I was kind of special like I was being picked to to go there. She met him at the Thompson Hotel expecting to have sex but says he crossed the line. She says he spat on her, slapped her and forced her to do something she did not want to do. Held me down and forced me to have anal sex with him. She says he didn't use a condom and ignored her pleas so to stop. And I started crying and um, he just kept like telling me that uh, I, like, I was being a good girl and like petting my head and, and at one point he was like choking me and my face went so red. CBC News cannot independently verify what happened behind closed doors, but we've corroborated as much as we could. The woman told several friends she was raped and we've spoken to them. Although she did not go to the police, the woman told a doctor she was sexually assaulted. We've seen the medical reports, and although there's no mention of physical force, the doctor did send her to be tested for sexually transmitted infections. Hogard said it was all consensual. He says he's sorry the woman is upset, but that does not change the fact they had a mutual plan to get together and have sex, and they did just that. And at no time did he act badly or do anything without consent. In the days after the incident, the woman put her feelings down on paper. In her journal, she wrote about how it hurt to sit, how she had to constantly shower, and how she still has nightmares. It was the worst day of my life. And I'll never forget that day. She's not sure if she can trust a man again. The bruises are gone, but the mental scars remain. Judy Trin, CBC News, Ottawa. The allegations in this specific case are being reported for the first time, but other stories about alleged misconduct connected to Headley have been out there for more than a week, mostly on social media. As those stories emerged, unproven and mostly anonymous, the band started paying a steep price even as it toured the country. The music journal Exclaim reported some Headley fans wanted the tour cancelled after allegations of misconduct started appearing on social media. The next day, local and regional radio stations started pulling Headley songs from rotation. And it was announced Headley would not perform at next month's Juno Award. In a statement then, the band said, the recent allegations against us are simply unsubstantiated and have not been validated. There was a time in the past when we engaged in a lifestyle that incorporated certain rock and roll cliches. However, there was always a line that we would never cross. Well, over the next two days, Chorus Radio, CBC and Bell stopped playing Headley songs. The band's management team cut ties with the group and two opening acts withdrew from the tour. Less than a week after the first report, the band withdrew from consideration for its three Juno nominations and said this, we intend to take responsibility and talk about how we have let some people down and what we intend to do about it. 